to kill a DJ, me do him partial Jama nigga be prudential, now when me come G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number one of my next gen Arsenal career mode series. Uh, it is going to be live, so everything you see me doing right now is what's going on. Uh, but quickly, if you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA Ultimate Team coins, make sure you check out FIFAcoinsBuy.com. The link will be in the description down below. Uh, and this series right here is most likely going to be replacing my QPR career mode series. Uh, I am not happy with how that series is turning out. Not many of you are watching it. I'm not enjoying making it, to be honest. Uh, it's not very uh, fun to play. So uh, I thought we may as well start a new career mode series with um, a team that I actually like and a team that um, will be a bit of a challenge to play with. Uh, but we can get a fair bit of success with. I'm hoping to make it a bit like MTH's series. Uh, his Arsenal crew match series in FIFA 13 and FIFA 14 uh, especially were great series. Uh, very entertaining. So I'm hoping to make them uh, very, very exciting like that. Uh, so we're just going to go, and this is going to be live, as I said before, so that should make it a bit more entertaining. I enjoy making live series a lot more. Alright, so we're going to go into our office now, guys. Uh, let's check out the inbox. So these are a few messages from the board. So in the Domestic Cup, our, our objective is to win the Cup. Oh, that will be pretty difficult, but we'll give it our best crack. Uh, that one doesn't really matter. Richard Ramsden, our main global transfer network scout. Uh, I don't really care about that, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of the GTN. Uh, yet again, don't care. And for the league, we are expected to win the league title. It's going to be difficult because we have the likes of uh, Manchester United, Man City, uh, Chelsea, etc., etc. But I think we can push for it, hopefully. I'm not expecting to win the league myself. I'm hoping for a Champions League finish, uh, but we've got to hope that we can please the board. Okay, guys, so I've just gone around and fixed up the squad and rearranged it into positions just to make it a little bit more neat and created my uh, perfect starting 11. Don't pay attention to the captain. See, I just had to change it around because Arteta was there before. Okay, so we've got Chesney. I'm just going to switch it over to the ages. So, uh, Chesney, he's 80 overall, 23 years old. He looks like he has a bit of potential. Uh, if I get offers for him, I'll be happy to load him off because there are a lot of keepers with better potential. Also, guys, I'm not going to be using any, like, so FIFA or Foothead, any stats that uh, sites like that for this series. I want it to be 100% my opinion, so it makes it a lot more interesting uh, because I think I've ruined a lot of different career mode series in the past uh, by uh, putting, like, getting potentials for them online, and it just hasn't made it feel like my uh, my own series, so that should be interesting. Uh, Sanya is a player. I know for a fact that he's coming off contract at the end of the season. Uh, he's 30 years old, 81 overall. I wouldn't mind uh, loading him off and bringing in a young replacement for him or even giving Jenkinson a bit more of a run in the side, uh, mainly because in this game, stupidly, players decrease at around 29 years old. I remember Ages guy had Piz check in a career mode first season and he started decreasing when he was only 28, which is absolute bullshit. Uh, but our centre-back pairing is going to be per Murtisaka and Koscielny. Uh, Murtisaka, 28 years old, Koscielny, 27. So I wouldn't mind loading off uh, these guys uh, and bringing in some young talent. I kind of really want to keep on to Murtisaka just because I think he deserves to stay at the club for the rest of his career. Or at least I want to keep him because I think he's going to be a great asset to the side even if he drops in overall. I just want to keep per Murtisaka on the side. But uh, I wouldn't mind getting rid of Koscielny and bringing in a younger player because I know... Uh, when I've played with Arsenal in the past, clubs will offer for about like 8 million for him, uh, which is a pretty nifty fee uh, for a 27-year-old centre-back. Uh, so I'll be happy to let him go. Uh, Kieran Gibbs, a player which I'm going to keep for the series for hopefully a long time. 79 overall, uh, 23 years old. I would imagine that he would have a lot of potential. Uh, so hopefully we can keep him for a while and grow him into a great player for the future. Jack Wilshere, we all know uh, how good he is and what potential, what, how good his potential is going to be in the future. <clears throat> 21-year-old. Uh, 82 rated center attack or center midfielder. Definitely want to keep him in the side. Don't want to sell him no matter what. Same goes with Aaron Ramsey. Definitely a great player in real life and a lot of potential. Uh, Theo Walcott, who for some reason is my captain in this, is a player I want to keep on uh, to for a while as well. 24 years old, 82 overall. Want to keep on to him for a few seasons. Grows overall and then maybe put, sell him on for a lot of money. Uh, Sani Kazola, 28 years old, 85 overall. Uh, he'll definitely be a starting player for this season. Uh, next season, when he starts to get a bit older and decreases, 
Uh, maybe that's when we'll look to load him off to another side. Uh, but for the moment, he is going to stay in that left mid or center attack mid position. Uh, Mesut Özil, well, we all know how great Mesut Özil is. 87 rated, 24 years old, uh, center attack mid. He's a great player on this game uh, in Korea mode. Not so much an ultimate team, as you may have seen in my Mesut Özil pink slips uh, that I did ages ago. Uh, but... Mesut Ozil is definitely a player I'm not looking to load off uh, anytime soon. Definitely going to be the main piece of our side for the first few seasons. Going to be our marquee player. Uh, and in the lone striker role, I'm playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. We're going to have Olivier Giroud. Uh, 81 overall, 26 years old. I wouldn't mind loading him off. I know that he can get sold on for a fair bit. Uh, and I hope, or well, if I get off to him, I'm going to not be... Uh, hesitant at all to let him go, mainly because he's getting a bit older, only 81 overall, so the most, in my opinion, he could probably grow to is about 83 overall, 84, uh, so I'm sure we could get, sell him on for a reasonable price, and bring in a younger and uh, more high potential striker, uh, but we'll just play that one by ear, then on the bench we have Thomas and Marlon, who is good enough to be playing uh, in our starting lineup, but uh, I don't really have too many big plans for him. Just a bit of a utility centre-back. Then Flamini, uh, not going to be playing him much at all. Just going to be a bench warmer. Arteta, same with him. Uh, have him for a few seasons. Let him retire here, I suppose. Unless I get a pretty decent offer. Uh, unless I get a heaps good offer, actually. Uh, but if I don't get a good offer, then I'll just let him rot on the bench, I suppose. And come play in, like, uh, cup games and games where people are out of rest. Uh, Riziki, looking to sell him because he is only... He's 32 years old, 80 overall. So now's the best time to sell him before he starts going down more in overall. Podolski getting a bit older. He will get a fair bit of game time. Uh, but not going to be my starting left winger, unfortunately. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain, 19 years old, 77 rated right winger, so he'll definitely get uh, put in a good use in the coming seasons. He could even uh, slot into the left wing spot, so he's just going to be a bit of a utility player until he grows to bed an 80 overall player. Uh, Lord Bentner, uh, that's going to be a bit of a replacement, squad rotating uh, striker. And then none of these guys really matter. We've got a few players like Frimpong who I really want to uh, develop into great players. We've got a lot of youth in our reserve. Like, look at that. Most of our players are like 17, 19, 20, 20, 20 uh, 17. Surgeon Abri, uh, he's going to be a great player. So is Rio Miyachi. He was great in my Newcastle career mode on uh, current old, old gen on the 360. Uh, but we've got a pretty decent side. I might push on uh, and sell Diaby, but... Uh, question of the day, guys, is which players do you want me to uh, buy for this career mode series? Let me know so I can sign them up, hopefully, in episode 2, because uh, I won't record any more until I get a fair bit uh, of what you guys want me to do in this series, because I really want to make this series about you guys and make it as uh, fan... Friendly, I suppose you could say. Uh, I don't really care about realism. I just want to make the best career mode for you guys. So, uh, yeah, we'll go into the selling screen uh, right about now. And I'm hoping I'll offload a few players. So, uh, let's go transfers, sell players. I'll just sort it into positions because that's the best way to do it for me. Uh, so, there's not really any players here that I want to sell in the goalkeepers. Um, so I wanna, I'll put Boateng. I'll put a few players up for uh, season loans. Just so they can get a bit of experience. There's nobody else that needs season loans in the centre backs. Same with the right backs and left backs. Uh, I might lift up Sanya as uh, he's 4.2 million right now. So it'd be nice to get him off our books and get a bit more money into the club. We currently have 33 million pounds uh, with transfer budget and 222,000 uh, budget. So that'll be all right. Uh, lift this guy up for a season loan. Uh, sell Riziki on, so we'll list him for transfer list, because he's only got a year left on his contract as well. Uh, let's give Frimi a season loan. Hopefully he can go back to Fulham, like he did last season. Uh, Diaby, I'm going to list him up for transfer list, just because he's not a great player. I don't really want him that much. He's a good player in life, although he's pretty injury prone. I don't really want him in this career mode. Just wasting spaces for me where some young players could come in. Uh, Nabry can go on season loan. Same with Miyachi, season loan. We've got a lot of young players that can go on loan. Uh, should we put Oxlade Chamberlain? Let me know in the next episode, for the next episode, I suppose, uh, if you want me to put Oxlade Chamberlain up for season loan. Um, Afobi, uh, Benic Afobi, put him up for season loan. Uh, Akpom, yeah, Tuba Akpom, put him up for season loan. And so, uh, Zach Ansar, do I want to take him off our books? He doesn't look like he has great potential. 55 overall, 19. I'll put him up for a season loan and see where he goes. Let me know if he has good potential in the comments below, guys. Uh, Benton, I'll keep him. I'll list this guy up for transfer list because he's just wasting up spaces on our uh, squad. He's only he's 27 years old and only 69 overall, so he doesn't look like he's going anywhere. And then Yaya Sinogo. 
uh, lift him up for season loan. So uh, we've got a lot of players that are going to be going out on loan. So I think the best positions we should be going for right now is going to be... Oh, I don't know, I'll play it by ear. I will sim it through and see if we get any transfer offers, etc. Uh, Alright, we don't care about international management. Uh, we've got a transfer offer here for Per Murder Sacker. Player I'm not really looking to sell. AS Monaco, 7.5 million pounds. Um, 28 years old. I don't really want to... Okay, I'll just reject it because I don't want to let go of big Per Murder Sacker. Uh, he's going to be a vital part of our squad this season. Um, the Champions Cup objective is to reach the semi-finals. Um, that's going to be difficult, but, you know, we're always going to give it our best shot. Another transfer offer here. Now it's for Olivier Giroud from Wolfsburg. 8.5 million pounds. Uh, look at that. Let's list him up for 13.5 million pounds. Let's set that our benchmark for Olivier Giroud's price. Uh, and hopefully we can sell him on for a decent price if he happens to leave the club. Alright, we've got two transfer offers here. But I'm going to quickly go down to this. Uh, oh, they're going ahead and matching it. 13.5 million pounds there for Olivier Giroud. So that will be very, very nice. Uh, I think we're going to have to go look for a new striker now. We'll go scout a few strikers. Uh, I've got a few in mind, uh, but I'll talk about that in a second after we get after these transfer offers. So we've got Emmanuel Frimpong, season loan to Sunderland. Let's do it, lads. Frimpong, hopefully he can grow. Uh, stay dental, get Frimpong or be Frimpong. Hopefully he can grow very, very well. But yet we have another transfer offer here for Murder Saka from Spurs. No, I'm not selling him to Spurs. Spurs, you can fuck off. You're our rivals. You are not buying one of our good players. Jesus Christ. What were they even thinking? No way am I selling to Spurs. Alright guys, so I have compiled a short list of strikers. There's a fair few players in this uh, short list. Many of these were my opinion, but a few of these players have been linked in real life to Arsenal. So I thought it would be nifty to throw them in there. A few of them I am interested in very, very seriously. Uh, Rooney is a player that was considered to be... Uh, in talks with Arsenal at the start of the season. No signings have been made yet, so he's on my short list. Diego Costa uh, is a great player on career mode, and he is expected to sign with Arsenal in the January transfer window. So uh, if we can bring him in, that'd be pretty realistic. Ben Teke is a great player. Uh, definitely be a great addition to the side. Uh, Hernandez, or Chikorito, he's been linked with uh, Arsenal a lot lately, so uh, he'd be a great addition to the side. Uh, John Gadetti from uh, Man City is not going to be a strike, a starting striker. He's one for the future in, in like five seasons. I reckon he'd be a very, very top uh, player for Arsenal. Uh, Luis Suarez has well, was linked at the start of the season with Arsenal uh, very, very strongly, but nothing was made there, and he's been in excellent form lately. Uh, he's probably going to be a bit too far out of our price range. Uh, Luke De Jong is a player that I think could fit very well into the Arsenal side. Uh, Robert Lewandowski, uh, he's 31 million, but if you look here, we could pick him up in the January transfer window on a contract expiry as long as he hasn't signed for anybody in this transfer window. So, fingers crossed that Lewandowski doesn't sign for anybody, uh, and we, he could be coming to us on a free uh, deal. That'd be very, very nice. Uh, Muriel is a great player with lots of potential. I know that for a fact. Uh, he would be a nice signing for the side, or a nice addition to the side. Balotelli, he's got a lot of potential. He'd be a great addition to the side. Uh, he's very expensive on Crimo, though. Milan usually want a lot of money for him. Uh, Matteo Destro is a great player. Lots and lots of potential. Very, very young player. Uh, hopefully, we can pick him up if we go for him on the cheap. And Victor Ibarbo. I don't know how he goes on Crimo. I don't know about his potential. Uh, but all I know is that he is very, very overpowered on this game and will definitely be a force up front. So what I'm going to do is inquire about all of these players and I'll see you guys when we find some that I think will be good. Okay, so we've got a transfer offer here for Boateng, uh, the young centre-back. Season loan to Colchester. Obviously going to accept that. Uh, hopefully he grows a fair bit this season. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, so player loans, of course. Wayne Rooney inquiry. Uh, they're not allowing Rooney to enjoy uh, join our team, bloody David Moyes, probably because we're a bit of a rivalry. Uh, Chikorito, they're not letting Chikorito join our team. That's bullshit. Uh, Luke De Jong, 11 million pounds, so we'll keep him in our uh, back of our minds. And then, well, I'll leave that there. And that 40 million pounds for Lewandowski, Jesus Christ, uh... We'll keep that in our minds, but hopefully we can just pick him up on the cheap in January. 
All right, a transfer offer here for Jackie Wilshire. 11.5 million pounds. That is piss weak Fiorentina. Going to reject that straight up. Uh, okay, so uh, Diego Costa inquiry. 34 million for Costa. Uh, that's a bit more expensive than I was expecting, but we'll keep it in the back of our minds. 29 million for Benteke. Are you kidding me, Aston Villa? Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Uh, John Gadetti, 3.9 million. Yeah, he could be a good uh, bench player and then a future prospect. Luis Suarez, uh, they have no interest in letting Luis Suarez join our team. Uh, piss off Liverpool. Um, I'll delete that. Oop, delete that. Delete. There we go. Um, Luis Muriel, 18.5 million. That's a lot of money. So right now, my two main people I'm going to go for... Oh, do I even want to go for Diego Costa? That's a lot of money. Uh, but if I do sell Giroud on for 13 million, I think I'll definitely go for John Gudetti as a backup player. And then Luke De Jong, I think I'll go for him, depending. Uh, so a transfer over here for Lauren Koscielny, uh, to Spurs, 7 million pounds. Spurs are our rivals. Even though I want to sell Koscielny on this season, uh, Spurs, I'm not going to sell him to Spurs, no way. Player sold, so Giroud has gone to Wolfsburg for 13.5 million pounds. So 11.5 million pounds to our transfer budget, so I'll delete that, delete that. So let's go in for Diego Costa. 34, point, uh, 34 million, well, Xbox unsnap, that stupid bullshit, Xbox unsnap, Jesus Christ, stop listening, stop listening, bloody hell, okay, <laughs> sorry about that, we'll go in now, um, let's just offer him on the bid on the cheap, let's go 28 million pounds there for Diego Costa, uh, let's go for Luke De Jong next, so they want 11 million, let's just go for 9 million, try and get him on the cheap, uh, and if we can sell him, if we can buy him for nine million pounds, that means we have made three million pounds about that much. That's be nice. Uh, and we'll go for John Gaddy, uh, John Gaddy as well. Uh, we'll put in about three point five for him, just as a bit of a backup player. We will probably send him out on loan if we do pick him up. Transfer offer here for a Phoebe. Uh, it's a season loan offer there to Middlesbrough. We will accept it. So uh, Ben and Phoebe hopefully can grow a bit to Middlesbrough this season. Uh, Benton thinks he'll make a great replacement for Giroud's vacant spot. Uh, sorry, Nicholas, but you're not going to be the starting striker. Uh, I don't want to disobey Lord Bentner, uh, but no way, champ, are you becoming my starting striker. Transfer offer accepted for Luke de Jong. Oh my god, £9 million. Pounds. We're putting in for that, lads. That is going to be a great piece of business if we can pick him up. So let's make him an important first-team player. That is very, very nice stuff, guys. Luke De Jong could be coming to the club. Transfer offer here for Serge Nabry. Nabry Serge Nabry uh, from Sunderland. Season loan. Accept that any day of the week. Uh, hopefully, he can grow a fair bit this season. Um, and then, uh, transfer offer here. We've already got that. And Manchester City accept our transfer offer there for uh, John Getty. So, we'll put in for that. He'll be a... Uh, let's just go... Sporadic, no, uh, let's go squad rotation player, just because, uh, so he can sign, definitely. Uh, and then, we're going to go, uh, oh, they have accepted the transfer off of their 28 million pounds. Um, but if we get Luke De Jong on the cheap, I'll, uh, I'll put in for that, and then worst comes to worst, I can just stall it. Uh, but if we can get Luke De Jong on the cheap, then I'll definitely go for De Jong over Costa. Transfer offer here for Thomas Rizicki and Luis Fabiano. 4.3 million for Inter, 5 million value, so uh, I'm going to counter that for 5 million. Uh, hopefully, Inter can accept that, because if we can get 5 million pounds for a 32-year-old center attack mid, that is a very, very good deal. And then Hull City want Fabianski for 1.6 million pounds. Um, well, we do have that fellow in on loan for the rest of the season, but I think I'm going to have to reject it. Just Actually, no, I'll, I'll accept I'll. I'll, uh, I'll bump it up, see if they can pay 100k more than we will his value, and then that'll be happy. I'll be happy to sell him on. Uh, John Gadetti has accepted our contract. Uh, so, welcome to the club, John Gadetti. Uh, and I, I think I saw that Luke De Jong has accepted. Yes, he has. Get in, son. Luke De Jong on the cheap. That is excellent stuff. We sold an aging striker on for 13 million pounds and brought in a young, fresh fella for 9 million. That is what I call business, ladies and gentlemen. That is very, very nice stuff. All right, we've received another transfer offer here for Riziki. Uh, so let's open that up. This time it's from Torino in the Serie A. 
Uh, we will bump it back up to five million pounds, uh, just like Inter Milan. Uh, so hopefully we can get five million for Riziki. He's in pretty high demand. Uh, Inter have come back and said four point three million again. I'm gonna say you can piss right off and pay five million pounds. Otherwise, he can go to Torino, my mate. Uh, and then we'll see if there's anything else here. Um, they do not want to pay an extra two hundred thousand pounds for Fabianski. Okay then, be a little bitch. Um, so we saw that Diego Costa accepted our transfer offer. Oh my god. Well, uh, no, I'm no, I'm I'm rejecting it. I'm sorry, I fucked you over, Diego Costa, but I don't need you anymore, mate. I uh, thank you very much, but no cigar, mate. Close, but no cigar for you. Uh, Torino are going to match the five million pound uh, counter offer there for Thomas Rizicki, so very, very nice stuff there. Ooh, Inter have decided to match our offer for five million for Rizicki as well, so it's a battle between uh, Inter and Torino for the signature of Thomas Rizicki. Jesus. We have got a trans offer here for Thomas Eastfeld, I believe that is, uh, the young German centre attack mid. He can go on loan to Preston North End for a season. Uh, that's very nice there. Uh, and then we have sold, Thomas Rizicki has gone to Torino, so we went to Torino over into Milan. Uh, that's what you get Torino for getting first in best dress, so uh, Inter, if you wanted him that badly, you would have gone 5 million straight away, and he most likely would have been yours, but thanks for serving uh, your time at the club, Rizicki, you're a great player, uh, but you just didn't fit into my plans. Alright, we've got our first match here, our first pre-season friendly, that's a pretty weak side I'm playing uh, just because I didn't really want to get anybody interested in the preseason friendlies. I usually sim the preseason friendlies, but I am keen for the first uh, Premier League matchup, which is against Villa, I think. I'm pretty sure I watched it uh, round one match against Villa this season. But John Cadetti on his debut gets us off to a perfect start. 1-0 uh, there. DRB, Costiani and Santa Claus all have all picked up cards. Ah, uh, Walcott extends our lead, making it 2-0 uh, after 61 minutes. And that's how it's probably going to end. Uh, yep, so after 90 minutes, we win our first preseason friendly against Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga, two goals to nil with goals from Gadetti and uh, Walcott. And we have got a transfer offer here for Bakary Sanya. Uh, Want to sell him 3.4 from Atletico Madrid. If they can meet uh, his uh, value, his default value, then he can go to Atletico Madrid for all I care. I uh, wouldn't mind selling him on there for a bit of money. Okay, a transfer offer here for Diaby. Uh, another player I want to sell on. This is for uh, two Newcastle United, 2.3 million pounds. Uh, yet again, if they can meet his uh, default value, then he can go there for all I care. Uh, Newcastle couldn't have him. And then 3.7 million for uh, Zachary Sanya. If they can meet me at four, I suppose he can go. I don't want to sell him for cheap, heaps cheap. That's probably the cheapest I'll go. Uh, so yeah. Okay, a league objective. Yet again, they're telling us they want us to win the league title. I get it, I get it, board. Uh, you want me to do what Wenger hasn't been able to do for a few years. Uh, Bentner wants a start in the uh, game today, so I'll grant him that. Alright, lads, we have our second preseason friendly. This time it's against uh, Nice from the League 1 in France. Hopefully we can pick up another W, make it two wins from two. Uh, in our preseason friendlies, we're playing pretty much a similar side to the last time, except we have Ben in striker. We have Miachi replacing Pandolski, and we have Koscielny, or no, we have Murta Saka replacing, uh, what's his face? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm forgetting his name, Vermal, and that's the one. Uh, we are down 1-0 after conceding a penalty in the 32nd minute. Diaby has been red carded, uh, and luckily that was not an injury for us, otherwise I would have been pissed. Uh, we have lost our first match of the season. Luckily, it was a friendly, and it was away from home against Nice in League One. Uh, so not too disappointed about that, of course. Right, uh, Newcastle have decided to match their offer for Abu Dhabi. Very, very nice stuff there. Uh, and let's check this out. Benton is very happy that he got an opportunity to play, and I'm happy that I let him play, even though he didn't score, because uh, it is Lord Bentner. Alright guys, we have got a transfer offer here for Yaya Sinogo. Uh, so I am going to accept that. It is a season loan to Bolton Wanderers uh, in the championship. Hopefully he can get a fair bit of experience. And Madrid will pay $3.9 million for uh, Sanya. And pff, why not? He can go there, I suppose. £100,000 isn't going to make too much of a difference to me. So uh, that's how we're going to end the episode, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like rating. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Let me know which plays you want me to sign down below. Uh, which right back should I sign if back?
Zachary Sanyig does go, uh, make sure you let me know because that runs uh, a bit. I will definitely take that in mind into the next episode. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Expect another episode live in your sub boxes tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter at JerryHD. Leave a comment for me to press and reply to. But most importantly, guys, have an awesome day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.